Hi. Hi. My name is Michael. And I'm Nami. And welcome to Mike. And Nami Plus. Um, Michael's really tired right now because we're recovering from a cold. You were putting the kids to sleep in the dark. And so you came out and you're like tired. Mm. Your stomach hurts. He has allergies. Anyway, please disregard <laughs> his pains. Today we're going to talk about the baby names that um, we wanted for our potential daughters. Mm. What we had planned. We think that they're very nice names still. But I know like that's kind of debated. Like, do you buy the same dress as someone else during prom or not? Like, does it really matter or does it not matter? First one. We thought of it the same time we thought of Galahad and Zeke's name before Galahad was born, which was like six years ago. Do you remember so the, the first Pen one? Penelope? Yeah. Penelope. But then there's a short form of Penelo. Yeah. So without the P at the end. Yes. So we were going to name our first daughter Penelo, which is from the root word Penania, the oh. Hebrew word for the one with the veil over her face. We're probably butchering the pronunciation, but it is a symbolism for purity. Purity and like modesty, that. kind of like the hidden beauty. Mm. It sounds nice. The spelling, I The meaning is like. The spelling is nice too. Sounds nice, spells nice, is unique, and has a great meaning. The second one that we came up with, which we wanted to name our second daughter, because initially we wanted to have five kids before we found out about like my health complication and stuff with birthing. We wanted our second daughter's name to be Amara, which means love in multiple languages. It's one of the African languages. It was specifically God's love. Spells nice, looks nice, sounds nice, has great meaning, is unique. By the way, if you want to use these names, go ahead. <laughs> if you're having trouble finding girl names and you want to use these, then feel free. Uh, we don't have anything against people using like premeditated baby names. I feel like I got this concept from your older sister. She picks names that she wants for her future children by thinking of names that she doesn't know someone personally having that name. Mm -hmm. I think that helps because like, you don't already have a concept of mm. of someone having that name in use. Would you ever do Confusion? like Nami Jr.? <laughs> what is that? I don't think I would want to do that. Like, <laughs> I don't think I would want a son named Michael Jr. <laughs> There's already a Michael in my mind that like occupies my mind. <laughs> if like suddenly That's like funny. this person's also Michael, then it's like kind of confusing. Michael and there's a lot, already like so many Michaels and right. so many Daniels and so many Davids and so many those names, John. Joshua's, John's. Yeah. You know, other names that I thought were nice mm. were Olivia. Mm. I like Eunice. Oh. Oh, I never heard that one before. That you liked that one. No. You said you liked Sophia. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, there's, so there's a Sophie at our church. Sophia. Sophia is such Sophia. a wonderful name. Yeah. Yeah. Because Sophia and Olivia, he just likes the classic feel of them, I guess. Well, Sophia means it? wisdom in Greek. By the way, our, our merch is kind of like cropped off, but if you're interested in supporting our channels through purchasing merch, we'll have a link down below, or you can visit nachofam.com. I'm excited because like, I want to get the mug, and I want to get, get the phone case. Mm -hmm. I think for me, like the names that we kind of wanted to have for the girls that I did like uh, so much research in. I thought another cool name would have been like Nell. Nelly for talk. Nelly's too long. It's like long. Nell. What about Galahad? <laughs> no, Nell sounds very It's It cool. sounds unisex. We also had mm. a third name for a son. So Galahad was our first son's choice of name, and then mm. Zeke was going to be our second. But the third boy name was going to be Japanese, actually. I really like the name Kyuta, but um, spelt with, a, with, with an actual Q. I need sunglasses. My eyes are, <laughs> my eyes are hurting from this light. <laughs> oh no. So Kyuta in Japanese, I chose the kanji, like the Chinese characters, to be help big, like a big help. The character for cute could also represent like rescue or redemption. I kind of wanted the meaning to be like Christ-like, kind of representative of the redemption and the salvation that mm. 
Christ brings us personally. That's cool. Q t a k and and in English it would be spelled Q t a k Yeah. Yeah. I I wish I had a dash in my name. I know, right? Actually, I have a dash in my. I had a dash in my name when I was in elementary school, and I hated it. it was Where was it? N capital N A hyphen capital M E E. I was like, Mom, you didn't even study English. <laughs> that was your name. I never knew that. That was my name, but it was nah. it wasn't legally like that. My name has always been legally N A M E E. When my mom would write it on my belongings, she would write N A hyphen M E E, and I'd be like, No, no, just stop. So many people mispronounce it, like Nami, 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 Nami. Wow. <laughs> NAMI, that's the easiest to look at and pronounce. That's why I like it. It's simple. It's easy. So we're excited to reveal what we have in mind for baby number three, our first daughter. Our first daughter. Our first daughter. I know. Are you ready? I guess. I guess. Are you ready? Tell us if you're ready. I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Yeah. We just have to get to know her. That's it. Of course, of Everything course. else is easy. Everything else we've been through, just not her personality. <laughs> Make us tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. Do you have any particular like girl names or even boy names that you like or you prefer? Leave them down below and tell us like the meaning of them. I did, I hated my name for like so long because like people kept mispronouncing it. But now I actually love my name. I think since I changed like middle school, high school, mm. when I changed the spelling and then everyone actually pronounced it properly, mm. then I started to like really like my name. I think that's why, like, I like for our children to have unique names, cause like I like how unique mine is. Like, I've never met another Nami in my life, except for the one in One Piece. But I was born first. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps us out a lot. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, or if you have any suggestions, please let us know. Michael's trying to post more on our. It's basically his Instagram. Mike and Nami Plus. He has like his photography stuff on there. If you'd like to check that out, and we will see you next time. Bye. You're just gonna leave me hanging like this? <laughs>